start of the meme procedure known as sky basing. Let's freaking go, lads! This meme has been planned from three days and I have practiced my crank to take minimum amount of mats but to crank in such a way that I have the most distance into the zone and the least amount of mats wasted. Side note number two, I have also practiced to build right above water so that if I fall, I fall on water and I do not take any fall damage and kill myself. For you all young memers who are just starting out, take tips from this incredible game. Take notes, I mean, not tips. I'm giving tips, but you take the notes. It is a replay of a game I actually played 10 seconds ago. So if there is any lag or if it feels like I'm levitating or floating, then it's probably because it's a replay, so it might be a little bit lag. I edited the call to check if there were any people below me. I did see bills, which meant there was a player below me, but at least I got to know that. At this moment, I decided to start expanding my sky base because just Three blocks would not be enough if I actually need to avoid a susk in or someone shooting it down. And also, I was not above water because the part I was in was above ground. I was not even in zone. At this point, I was very low on mat, so I was praying for a supply drop to drop and in front of me or behind me and hopefully that my sky base would be big enough so that the supply drop drops exactly on my sky base so I can get back a little bit more mats. Already spotted a uh, ex explosive style crook skin. Um, I was thinking if I should shoot it or not but then I realized that if I shoot it, it is going to shoot on my sky base. So I decided to just camp up here until I absolutely have to shoot. Cause like, when you're up here, it's like you're on top of the world. And you need some entertainment to keep it going through the meme. So I was just watching, um, this was top 3 situation by the way. Um, so I was just watching the two battling that out. And now I got scared because I saw the clock skin or I think that is another skin I don't know but I think that's a clock skin or something I saw that guy edit coursing which make, made me think that he was a sweat 
and he knew exactly what the op uh, opponent was, so that got me scared. And oh my god, lifesaver, the supply drop was dropping exactly on my spire. Well, not the spire, the sky base. I shot it down just to make sure it wouldn't glitch out, it dropped, and it's a top two situation. I got back a few mats, and I did not need the minis. And lo and behold, it's me and the sweat that killed that guy. Memes will beat sweats. Just do wait and see. Correction! That cloth skin was actually a gold Lara Croft. Sorry, my bad. I just saw red and I thought it was a cloth skin. At this moment, I thought that I should start shooting it, but then I realized that I should wait a little bit. But then I saw it shooting my, down my sky base, so I decided to just wait for bullets. I started shooting again, so I fired back again. Unfortunately, Scar Bloom is not very good for these kinds of long-ranging fights, and it shot down my sky base. But my water technique worked, and I landed on water without any casualties. Here came the build fight. Oh boy. It tagged me good and I had no shield left. I popped the cabbage and I popped the corn and I was down to two cabbages and four sticks of corn. It was above me, it had height and I did not. I decided to get my previous ball back down and I was in water. I thought that if I go back I would get tagged and lo and behold, I did. I waited for it to shoot and it tagged me good. Now I was super low with only 78 HP. I pop all my corn, and now I have one corn left, 169 tag, and 35, let's go, 35 white, 169 tag, and I won with 14 HP. Long shot llama. I defeated a lobby and got a victory royale with 14 HP and sky based practically the whole end game. This is a reminder that memes will always, always beat sweats. I am Poke Panda and peace out. Zombie apocalypse.